Let's go to Mike. We'll get the ticket text in a second. Hi, Mike. How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. Uh, got a two-part question for you guys. I love listening to you guys, but I wanted your thoughts on this and tell me if you agree. Yeah. So if first question is, do you remember Rich Gannon when he had the latter part of his career with the Raiders, with uh, Chucky and how he yeah. kind of revamped and he was system? Your league one, MVP. Kinda, yeah, I kind of remember a similar situation. I'm kind of seeing a similar situation possibly happening with Stafford. Second part question is, if he wins a Super Bowl and continues to throw for three to four thousand yards a season, do you think he's borderline Hall of Fame? He's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer right now. I mean, I don't get to choose who gets in or not, but like the counting stats for Matthew Stafford, you have to look at. I mean, he had one season he threw the ball seven hundred times. I think you could say accurately that would be over two seasons of Joe Montana throwing. Like Stafford is going to be Warren Moon two point oh. If he never wins anything. He's absolutely a first ballot Hall of Famer. First if he, ballot? Yeah, there's no doubt. Quarterbacks, pull up Matthew Stafford's career numbers and then juxtapose them with guys who had careers of the same length who are already in the Hall of Fame. Hmm. I just don't think it... I mean, I can see maybe the Hall of... I, didn't, I, I guess I don't see first ballot. And it's not about me. Like, I don't make the rules, but it's right. like I remember... Rico if he gets a Super Bowl, then yes. It, but like uh, last couple of years, people did that 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 to Calvin. And I'm like, guys, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. No, he's not. He didn't play long enough. I'm like, Gail Sayers. Well, he didn't win anything. Well, his numbers. Okay, Dan Fouts. Like, wh- guys. Well, his numbers weren't comparable because I think they were even with Torrey Holt. Right. But you had to watch the play. He was the best wide receiver in football. Right. Multiple times. Torrey Holt never was. Right. Calvin was an all pro. Right, which now, I while, understand. Now, that. while Stafford wasn't, Rico, he's, what is this, year 13 for Stafford? Can you, David, just, just grab that for me. Is it year 13? But I mean, as long as he plays another yes, year or year two. 13. Okay, so he gets 15 years in. Go look at the counting stats. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. That doesn't make it right, but I'm just answering the no, caller's no, no, question. I, it's, it's just. It's shocking when you I think about it. I can't see it, but he's, he's already 14th on the passing leaders list. Okay, so if he gets 10,000 yards between the end of this season and the next two total, 10,000 more, where does it put him all time? That puts him at about where Eli Manning is at eight. Top 10 all time passing. All right, touchdowns. Where is he? <laughs> uh, I have to go to touchdowns. Give me a second. You know what I'm about to ask? Yeah. Is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? Who? Eli. <sighs> Based on Super Bowls, I'm not allowed to say no. If you have two Super Bowls and you're a quarterback, you're going. But Eli, to me, is very Terry Bradshaw. Matthew Stafford, touchdown-wise, is at 13 right now with 294. Okay, so the next two and a half years, if Stafford throws for 75 touchdowns, which is a very reserved prediction, where does it put him? It puts him around Eli. Again at nine. Top ten in touch. Well, right now he like for instance. That's he, a lot of touchdowns. Well, he's got twelve right now through five. He's gonna throw for forty this year, which means he would need thirty five combined in the next two seasons, which would be seventeen apiece. I'm just doing it for argument's sake. He's gonna be top ten in touchdowns, top ten in yards. You know, it, just just look at it. And there's just a couple players that will be around him that are still playing, but right. Ben Roethlisberger, Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers. But you know, those right. I mean, David, there's a very good chance he throws 100 touchdowns from now through the next I mean, two I, years. I, I see Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I, I guess Ben Roethlisberger would be in the Hall of Fame. You, you guess? Yeah, he's automatic first ballot. 